I lived tennis so intimately and I played through so many generations, so the interest in watching these generations unfold is unavoidable. I don't think much of my career is uh, reflective of Federer's, but, uh, but when it comes to just what he brings to the game, I sit back as a fan at that point because watching him is like watching history and, and you feel like you see it every time you see him and to see how he conducts himself both with the fans, with his peers, um, it's, uh, it's, it's truly remarkable and I think I just have more appreciation than the average fan because he makes it look so easy and I actually think I know what it takes and it's, it's remarkable. You look at the next generation and you know, I think the top two leading the pack as far as potential, you know, uh, Francis Tiafo, who I think is a hell of an athlete and I think uh, can bring a lot to the table and I think can possibly put himself in position to, to be a factor at, at, at slams in, uh, you know, the upcoming years. And then you look at something you can't teach like Riley Opelka, who's seven feet tall, you know, I mean, these, you, you ha it's slim pickings when you talk about the best in the world. and you better bring something that's very unique and, um, and you're competing against the world. So this is uh, probably one of the most optimistic generations. I think we have, we have a look now at possibly you know, having somebody sneak through.